scene is Weymouth Harbour, and those white flecks of spray tell us that the wind strength is over 50 miles an hour. Frenchman Stefan Peyron is first away. His form is good, but good enough. At the start gate, Mike Todd of England in red and current world record holder Jaap van der Rest of Holland in blue prepare for their runs. Each run means a 500-yard battle against the elements. Now here goes Jaap, winding himself up for a crack at his own world record. Mike the Mountain Todd, one of Britain's strong wind specialists, follows on down the course. The speed is 20 miles an hour plus, but it's not enough to threaten the record. Stefan takes a ride home past the gate boat, and another Frenchman, the Amen Baron Arnaud de Rosne, takes the arena. Is he really as good as his PR men tell us? The Baron may have many feats to his credit, including the cross-channel record of 1 hour 39 minutes, but today his luck is out. Cyril Piddington, British speed special extraordinary, waits in the wings. And here he goes. His first run is 20 miles an hour plus, and now he comes back for a second try. Times are good, but that record is still safe. Now we'll see form shown by John Hall. John comes from Australia, he's rough and he's tough, and it's said he's got a tremendous thirst. Australian by temperament and designer of many of the speed boards in use here today. John pulls his bulky frame out under the sail as if to show a few palms the way it should be done. runs, John still can't get beyond the 22 mile an hour barrier. John may not have broken the record, but he's certainly shown control. Here he puts in a superb power glide at the end of his run. Brilliantly executed, the turn's complete, but his equipment can't stand the strain, and collapse is not far away. Conditions are fearsome, and that record still stands. The wind's now running at gale force plus, and there's only one man left on the course. The man, they call him. It's Jürgen Honschied from Silt in Germany. Probably the best high wind sailor in the world. It looks very easy, doesn't it? Jürgen, a man who spends most of his time in Hawaii, who says few words, but he puts the rest of the field to shame. On a second-hand, seven-foot standard surfboard, this man has complete mastery of the situation. The wind's now gusting to over 70 miles an hour on occasions, so much so that even the chanaries were kept hot. the course. Jürgen clocks just 28 and a half miles an hour. 
is not enough to satisfy the judges who require a 2% margin for a new official record, but it does make this man the fastest single-handed sailor in the world. Like a skier at speed on snow, Jürgen fights to keep his board on the water. Every bounce is a second lost. A power turn in slow motion. Jürgen Honshi proved age, adding speed to strength and skill. But in the end, even the greatest can make their mistakes.